My dog education started probably earlier than most because when I was 18 months old I was bitten in the face by a rescue dog so I've got this lovely big scar on my nose and my mum says that I've had dog saliva in my blood ever since then basically. And you know the dog was put down, who wouldn't? Looking back now I think she was just disciplining me like any female would to a puppy and it was one of my earliest lessons really because she could have killed me but she didn't. Instead, we killed her, just in case. I had my first puppy probably when I was 12 years old. I had a trained a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Beano. Uh, he's one of my best teachers. <laughs> he, he used to sleep on my bed. He barked all the way to the park. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And unfortunately, because of that lack of knowledge, he was hit by a car when he was just four years old um, because he ran into the road. As I got a little bit older, I became obsessed with dogs. I think like most children, I just wanted to be friends with them and get to know that wolf in everyone's living room. So then I went on and I did a degree in animal behaviour and I started to study how any animal learns and specifically was kind of intrigued by how animals can adapt to their environment. Um, and what they need to do to survive. Towards the end of my degree, I came across a research paper by medical detection dogs who trained dogs, or proved that you could train a dog to sniff out and detect cancer, human cancer, in breath and urine samples. And that really changed things for me. That was a, a life changer. It blew my mind. It broke my heart and blew my mind. Because if dogs can sniff out cancer, in the human body and detect biochemical changes at like a minute level, then they've been walking alongside us for tens of thousands of years. They've been living and breathing us for a really, really, really long time, like long, like longer than you would think. Long time they've been doing this with us, it's long. But we still don't talk about the basics of their behaviour. I learned this lesson in Dog Rescue Every time a dog was brought back to my centre, I'd see the same problems. Miscommunication. You know, the, the human didn't understand the, the signs that led to aggression. And it was always the dog that paid with their lives, as is often the case with rescue dogs. Today, I think helping people understand what dogs are telling them is probably the most important thing I do. And I think it's never too early to start. Oh, <laughs> What you like? You're just so handsome.